Hey VC, it's Jonathan from the Cheap and Cheerful Record Collector. Uh, this is the channel where uh, I don't spend uh, more than five dollars in any record I have to show you can create a great record collection without spending a fortune. Um, I haven't been buying anything new for the past three weeks. I've been on a hiatus because uh, my wife and I are planning a trip. We're actually leaving in two days to Japan. It's a trip of a lifetime and we're going to be there for two weeks. And I've carved out one afternoon where in Kyoto where I'm going to be doing some record shopping. So I'm going to be looking specifically for some uh, Japanese pressings of uh, classic jazz albums. Uh, Miles Davis, uh, John Coltrane, Monk, Mingus, Charlie Parker, whatever I can find. So I um, haven't been buying a lot of stuff locally, trying to save my money up. So I know the Japanese pressing is a little more expensive, but I figure it's a uh, once in a lifetime opportunity to pick up some really great stuff. So I, got, I don't have anything new to show you today. But what I'm going to be doing, uh, I belong to a lot of uh, channels on uh, Facebook of record collectors. Uh, if I remember the names of them here, um, you got the uh, Vinyl Fanatics, uh, YouTube Vinyl Community, obviously, uh, Vinyl Records Forever, and the Record Protection Project. So one of those channels, one of the guys, one of those channels the other day, was showing a bunch of um, compilations. And I said, oh, that's a good idea. I'm only... I'm going to do a video and show a bunch of different compilations I've acquired over the years. So um, I got a bunch, big stack here of everything jazz, blues, rock. So let's get on it. First thing we'll start off with is one. They used to put these out in the 70s. This is Limousine from 1977, I think it is. Uh, yeah, 1977. Warner Brothers release. Two record set gatefold and John is just trying to show all their new artists and new songs by their artists so this act one of the reasons I picked this up specifically is because it has Ry Cooter doing Alimony and it has Little Feet also has uh, Bonnie Raid on it um, Van Morrison Leo Sayer Kate and Anna McGarrigal uh, Fleetwood Mac Mylon Lefevre um, Jesse Colin Young I mean just great stuff on here and stuff I never heard before and probably never hear again. Uh, they have a Hawaiian band, the Gabby Pahanua Hawaiian band, Hen House 5 Plus 2. Um, Gary Wright, Ted Nugent, Amboy Dukes, Rod Stewart. So a great, there's a dollar find. So a great uh, compilation. Another one I picked up, also from this, from 1977. It's called Horizon Music. Horizon Music, I'm sorry. This is a promo. Um, also a gatefold, 1978. Only it's only three songs on the side, and only has three artists. And the reason I picked this up specifically is because it has Dr. John doing "Dance the Night Away" and "Rain." It also has the Mark Almond Band and Neil Larson. So I thought that was pretty cool uh, pickup. Um, yeah, it's a white label promo, so that's sort of cool. So that's that. So that's uh, two of the rock ones. And I go a lot, of, a lot of jazz albums I picked up. You always find, especially at Goodwill, at least I do, up here in Maine, I'm always finding uh, compilations, jazz. And I always like that because you uh, discover stuff you don't really know about. So that's sort of cool. This one is called The Big Band. This is The Big Band Era. And this is a great compilation of great big band music if you like that stuff. Again, it has uh, Tommy Dorsey Song of India, Sing, Sing, Sing by Benny Goodman, and my favorite version of the song, I Can't Get Started, by Bunny Berrigan and his orchestra, Artie Shaw, Ziggy Elman, Lionel Hampton, uh, Charlie Barnett, Earl Father Hines, doing Boogie Woogie on St. Louis Blues, uh, String of Pearls, Glenn Miller, uh, Count Basie, Mr. Robert uh, Roost, I mean, just, just great, great stuff. I mean, all the guys you see here later on in the 50s and 60s all started off in big bands. So you'll hear um, all sorts of people that you'll see names of. You go, oh, I know him. Great stuff. A good, good, good compilation. Another, another compilation I got. I picked this up just because I love the cover. Uh, it's a Columbia one called I Like Jazz, which I do. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
And uh, this is on a Columbia 6i, if I remember right. No, no, I'm sorry, it's not. It's on a Columbia label. And this has uh, Bessie Smith, Louis Armstrong, Big Spiderbeck, Duke Ellington, uh, the original Benny Goodman Orchestra, Teddy Wilson, Dave Brubeck. I mean, how bad can it be? In great condition. Another great compilation. Another Columbia compilation. The Jazz Makers. Again, Louis Armstrong doing Savoy Blues, Count Basie, Fletcher Henderson, Bessie Smith, uh, Earl Hines, Louis Prima, Dizzy Gillespie's version. Now I can't get started. This is on the Columbia 6i. I know I had one of them on the Columbia 6i. That's the Columbia 6i. These are all in the 50s, if I remember correct. I don't really have a date on this one, but I would assume these are all 1950s. No, those are two really great ones. This one I picked up. This is a Camden, RCA Camden. Um, modern Jazz Piano, Four Views. Love that cover. Just They don't make covers like this anymore. This is great. So the Four Views are Mary Lou Williams, uh, Lenny Tristano, who I didn't know, but looked up later, and an amazing piano player, Errol Garner, and Art Tatum, of course, the great Art Tatum. As he used to say, there's... Two kinds of piano players, Art Tatum and everybody else. And it's on the RCA Camden label. All these are all these were uh, dollar fines at Goodwill. All in good condition. Um, great stuff. Another jazz compilation I picked up. Columbia, I guess, did a lot of them. This is, again, I picked this up again. I saw the cover, and the cover really appealed to me. Jazz on the bus. Love this one. This has Eddie Condon, Turk Murphy, who I didn't know before this, Duke Ellington, uh, Dave Brubeck, J.J. Johnson, Miles Davis, early Miles Davis stuff. So great. Also on a Columbia 6i. So, you know, every time you see those uh, compilations, a lot of times you just pass them by. Take some time. Check them out. You never know what you're going to find. No, speaking of never knowing what you're going to find... I saw this jazz, com I mean, a, a compilation from King Records, and it's truck driver songs. I love that great country, classic country stuff. So I was really excited to get this. It has, you know, Six Days on the Road, um, Truck Driving Man, a Passing Zone, Gear Jammer. I mean, just great stuff. So I was so excited. Got this home on King Records, which is actually the label that uh, James Brown recorded on for a while. And what was so weird, I get this home, and the label matches the vinyl, that matches the cover, but when you put it on, it is a completely different record. There's not one song that matches on this record. I don't know what the happened. They slapped the label on the wrong record, but nothing matches. There's no truck driver songs on this record, even though the label says it is and the cover says it is. So... I just got to learn to live with it, but it was just, I was so excited and then so brought down when I realized, you know, there's no, uh, no truck driver songs on there. Excuse me. Anyway, for a buck, no big deal. This one I got, another country-esque album, also a, obviously a compilation. This is Anthology of the 12-String Guitar, featuring Glenn Campbell, Mason Williams, Joe Mapis. Bob Gibson, etc. This is just great guitar playing. Uh, Glenn Campbell really knocks it out. He does Bull Durham. Uh, Bob Gibson, 12 String Rag is great. Uh, Joe Mathis, My Little Maggie. It's just great, great stuff. And uh, this was on Tradition Everest Records in really good condition. This is going to be, I would imagine, 1970s, but fantastic. Another country one I picked up, um, this was on Nashville Records, Four Kings of Country Music, Johnny Cash, Buck Owens, Sonny James, and George Jones, um, on a white Nashville label, that's pretty cool, I like that, and uh, Johnny Cash does Folsom Prison Blues, 
George Jones, Long Time to Forget, um, Buck Owens, There Goes My Love, um, yeah, Right After the Dance, also Buck Owens. It's a great, yes, great country music and a great cover, of course. Four Kings. Then we dip into a little bit of the blues. I found I was lucky enough to find some blues compilations. And, uh, oh, we'll do only one more jazz one I found. This one's sort of cool. This is um, the Playboy Jazz All Stars. Uh, back in the day, besides the girls, uh, Playboy used to do very, very big on jazz. And this was a 1958, they used to do a jazz poll, the way that um, Downbeat does a jazz poll every year. Say so the Playboy Jazz Poll. And this is the second one they did, Volume 2. 1958, and all the winners were put on the record here. It's a two-record set. Comes with a great attached booklet, which gives you everything about each of the artists on the uh, record. And uh, the winners that year, the leader was Stan Kenton, the trumpet was Chet Baker, the trombone was J.J. Johnson, the alto sax was Paul Desmond, Tenor sax was uh, Stan Getz, baritone sax was Jerry Mulligan, etc. So each song, each each of those, each of the winners, I love the back too. Each of the winners got a song on the album. So um, it's just great. You have Dave Brubeck uh, doing um, Two Sleepy People, Shelley Mann, Lionel Hampton, uh, Frank Sinatra is the singer. He does Time After Time. Paul Desmond's on here. Dizzy Gillespie. Um, Jerry Mulligan, Chet Baker, I mean, it's just, just Elephant Gerald, a great two record set. Oh, and I got to show you the, uh, the label is the Playboy label. How cool is that? So that was another great com and a compilation I picked up. Um, another one I saw, the cover didn't do it for me. I was almost didn't grab it, but then I took a little closer look and said, oh, I got to have this one. It was RCA called Symposium in Blues, and it's actually a uh, advertisement for Merck, Sharp, and Doan Medical. Um, um, and here's the inside. is all an advertisement for medication, for prescriptions. Which is sort of weird, but the record itself has great, great blues on it. Uh, Leroy Carr doing Rocks in My Bed, Washboard Sam, uh, Lead Belly, um, and then the flip side is more jazz, which has Duke Ellington, Louis Armstrong, uh, Mildred Bailey, Joe Williams. So this was a great pickup. Uh, Symposium in Blues. Like I said, I saw the cheesy cover, sort of almost passed it by, but uh, took a closer look and thought that was sort of cool. Also, I thought the, the drug, uh, what does it say? Therapy often helpful in depression. Ellaville. So... God knows if you make that stuff anymore. Anyway, that's that. This one, I think this was a uh, a trade with a friend for some records. Um, sort of a compilation. Has two guys on it. It's called The Last Whorehouse Piano Players. Recorded in New York City, RCA, Victor, uh, 1980. You got Milt Hinton and Gus Johnson. Ralph Sutton and Jay McShane on Chaz Jazz Records. Sort of cool little label there. And uh, just great piano playing. Love this record. One of my faves. That was a great find. Um, then I got one more blues, a couple more blues compilations. This one. A Taste of Bluesway. Bluesway was a label that ABC put out to specifically feature their blues artists. This is 1973. And as the front and obviously the back. And they have uh, Ray Charles, I Got a Woman, uh, Jimmy Witherspoon, Charles Brown doing Drifting Blues, Jimmy Reed, Gotta, Gotta Be a Reason, uh, Sonny Tang and Brandon McGee, B.B. Uh, King, John Lee Hooker, T-Bone Walker, obviously, why I picked this stuff up, all this great stuff in here, and Earl Hooker. So, great, great record. Uh, most of the songs were recorded in the 70s. 